Hello my loves, it's Monica and today I'm so excited because I'm coming at you with a new book haul. This is basically my spring summer book haul because it's been a few months since I last made one of these and I'm so excited to talk about all of these books. They're just, oh, they're all so good. I've read some of them because it has been a few months since I last filmed one of these um, but a bunch of them are definitely high on my TBR of books that I want to get to soon and also obviously it has been a minute since my last video uh it's well really only a couple of weeks so not really that long but yeah life has been a little chaotic a little all over the place there's lots of stressful things lots of exciting things going on i'm gonna be doing a full life update video uh i think probably next week so i will be sure to share that then and i'll be able to actually dive into so many things that i haven't been really able to talk about online that i've been just wanting to talk about somewhere and I'm so excited for that and if you follow me on Instagram you have a little bit of a glimpse into some of that uh, so yeah just a little plug for my <laughs> Instagram there but yeah I'm super excited for all of these books today but before I dive in I do want to give a big thank you to this video sponsor which is Disney Book Group and they are sponsoring this video in celebration of some of their newest middle grade releases from Reed Riordan. First up we have Paula Santiago and the Forest of Night Nightmares, and this is the sequel to the critically acclaimed, let me not hold it upside down, Paula Santiago and the River of Tears. This is an own voices series in which we follow 12 year old and science obsessed Paula Santiago in which she overcomes evil with science and the power of love and this adventure fantasy based on the Mexican legend of La Llorona. And this sequel is meant to combine all of the excitement and humor of book one with even more ghosts and monsters than the first book. In this sequel, Paula has these nightmares that land her in this like really eerie forest and at the center of these nightmares is her estranged father and this sort of leads her on this adventure to try and figure out what's going on. She's also feeling really isolated from her friends and her mom and I know again that the first one was very highly critically acclaimed so really excited that these are out. Then in Poa and the Soul Stealer we have a funny and fast-paced adventure based on Hmong mythology. This book also has a nature-based magic system and is filled with cultural details around food, spirits, and stories. So in this book we follow Poa who is this lonely 11 year old girl who has the unique ability to be able to see spirits and in fact her best friend is a sarcastic cat spirit which sounds fantastic to me and one day she accidentally untethers an angry spirit from a haunted bridge in her neighborhood and this sets her off on an adventure with a shaman woman who ends up coming in and saving her and they sort of like go on this adventure together to try and contain this angry spirit and the shaman is basically like her guide so I'm also really intrigued by like their dynamic and yeah I'm very excited for all of these books I will have all of the info in my description box below but all three of them are currently out and available physically and also via audiobook. So now diving into the book haul, I have a few books that I've already read so I'm gonna run through those really quickly. First, I almost hit myself, we have Heartstopper Volume 4. I adored this book. This is, I think, my favorite in all the Heartstopper books. If you're unfamiliar with the series, it is basically a queer contemporary graphic novel and it's just so sweet but also like like so real and uh, I just I love it so much if you just want something that is gonna make you happy but also like is relatable and just I don't know just if you want to read something good and you want a graphic novel read Heartstopper it's a wonderful time also the show is coming out at some point and I know that we all love to read the book before the show so then I bought Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I also really enjoyed this one. This was just such a unique fantasy. It's inspired by the civilizations of pre-Columbian America and yeah it's just like such a really complex and political and interesting fantasy. I like honestly struggle to really describe it because there's so much going on in this book. You follow like multiple perspectives and each of them are so unique. Like each voice is like so distinct I feel like in this book. But there's basically like a prophecy, a like god type of 
person and just like everyone's kind of moving towards this like one climactic moment and it's very much like a race against the clock kind of book but like even you as the reader don't like know what you're racing towards or against and it's just like such a fun like read to like unveil everything but yeah i really enjoyed that one and definitely want to pick up the sequel when it comes out speaking of sequels i need to pick up this one it just came out and i need to order it uh soon and that is the sequel to ray bearer by uh jordan ifweko and oh my goodness <laughs> i loved this book so much this is maybe one of my favorite books of the entire year uh and just like in general in life one of my new favorites such like such a good solid fantasy novel like this one i just felt like it's one of those rare fantasy novels where not only was it like really well plotted, it had really great characters, but it also had a world where I just fully felt like I fell into it. You know, like I fell into the pages of the story and I did not want to leave. In this book, we follow Tari Sai, who is basically cursed by her mom um, to have to like get the prince of this nation to like fall in love with her and then when she does that then she has to kill him uh that's a very simplistic and honestly not fully accurate explanation but i don't want to say any more than that because i just want you to experience this novel it is filled with found family and like just super unique magic system uh, just a super unique magic system and lore and like politics oh i love it i love it so much such a good novel definitely recommend like out of all the books in this like that i've read recently this is the one that like you have to read if you haven't yet and i need to get the sequel this is the uk cover which is superior in my opinion and i definitely want the uk um new edition of the this the sequel i forget what it's called but yeah it was so good next is a book that i honestly i don't know what ton going into it it was kind of a blind buy for me based off of i mean i guess not really because it was based off of a friend's recommendation but that is magic for liars by sarah gailey and i picked this one up because i was hanging out with my friend matthew and we were in the bookstore just talking about books that we love and we got onto the topic of ninth house which you guys might know is one of my favorite books i love ninth house and he had not read Ninth House yet but he had mentioned that when he sort of heard about the vibe or synopsis of Ninth House that the book that he kind of thought of in his head was this one Magic for Liars and I was like well in that case I need to pick this one up. I know from the blurb on the back that it is part quirky fantasy, part noirish mystery, and part bittersweet family tragedy. And all three of those things are things that I love. So yeah, I'm going to be going into this a little bit unknowing of what it's actually about, which is how I like to go into books, to be honest. Uh, and I will report back. I'll probably read this one soon because I feel like it's very much apropos for this sort of like getting into spooky season kind of time, you know? So yeah, we'll definitely report back on this. So this one was another one that I just kind of saw while I was in the bookstore and I was like, I need that book. I don't know what it's about. I've never heard of it before. Although I do feel like I've heard of it, but I haven't really heard much about it, if that makes sense. Anyways, it's The Atlas Six by Olivy Olivy? Olivy Blake. Uh, yeah, so this was at my Barnes & Noble and it was like kind of weird because it didn't have like a price like it honestly it felt like someone just like left it there mysteriously and i was like intrigued you know so that's what that's what caught my attention i also just feel like this like design in general like there i think it, it has to be self-published maybe because there's no publisher listed on it but i've never purchased like a self-published book from barnes and noble so like that's kind of wild if it's self-published and it got into barnes and noble because i feel like that's really really hard to do this book gives me major like dark academia like if you took like the secret history mixed it with the starless sea that's what this book like the vibe of this book is kind of giving me um basically we follow the alexandrian society and in order to enter the Alexandrian society, it's only for magicians and they only let in six people each decade. And getting into the society guarantees you a life of wealth, power, and prestige beyond your wildest dreams. So yeah, I want to know more. Like, I'm very intrigued. And I feel like I've heard this title, like I've seen this book, but I haven't really talked to anyone who has read this book. 
and like gotten their thoughts on it. So I'm very interested to see if I like it, if I hate it. Honestly, right now I'm just kind of wanting like really good vibes, like Dark Academia vibes. Uh, so if that if this book gives me that, I will be happy, a happy camper. So here's hoping. Uh, but yeah, I love this design also, like it's beautiful absolutely stunning like the line work all of this could be a tattoo <laughs> then slowly but surely adding to my brandon sanderson collection i purchased elantris this is his first novel um and it apparently has ten thousand words of bonus content because brandon sanderson can just write and write and never stop and it's all brilliant somehow i don't understand this man this book is set in elantris which was once this like very shining magical beautiful city where if you got to enter elantris you were guaranteed like an eternity of like wealth and like just joy i don't know and basically the premise of this is that eternity ended 10 years ago and now we are in elantris seeing like what this world is like after sort of eternity that sounds really fascinating to me and i'm excited to continue with my brandon sanderson reading and i have made in korea by sarah Suk, and this one sounds so cute so fun it is a y contemporary basically we follow two main characters we have valerie valerie kwan and wes jung and valerie um has basically attended the school her high school for her whole life and she runs like a student-run enterprise of selling korean beauty products to the other students and then wes is new to the school and he shows up with like a bunch of korean beauty products that his mom gave him to like try and help him make friends which i think is really <laughs> that's a very that's funny <laughs> I love that. Um, he's trying to make, help him make friends and basically he like becomes competition with Valerie. So they're both like trying to sell Korean beauty in their high school, which is obviously a very far-fetched <laughs> synopsis, but I kind of love it and I'm very excited for this one. It just sounds adorable. So yeah, very excited to have this one in my hands. And obviously I love adding any and all Korean stories into my collection. Then I was sent my most anticipated book of the year. This is actually the Magical Girl Society book club pick, which is a book club that I run with my friend Brianna. We are a little bit behind on our lives and stuff just because we're both like dealing with a lot in life. Um, but I'm really excited for it. It is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. This is a literary fantasy novel. It has been compared to like Mulan meets the Song of Achilles. That's all you need to tell me. I'm so excited. It's definitely one of my most anticipated books of the whole whole entire year and I will definitely report back once I read it very excited. Then it was my birthday recently and by recently I mean in July and my sister got me a copy of the fangirl manga which I'm really excited for. I also have the third carry-on book somewhere in my room. I just realized that that should also be in this haul but I I don't know where it is right now to be honest um, and I still have to read it. I cannot believe I haven't read it yet. So I need to do that. But yeah, this is the manga based off of the novel Fangirl. And I love manga. I love Fangirl. So yeah, hyped to check this one out. It looks really cute. You know, I love, I love cute, happy things. And that is this book. So yeah, excited. Then I was also sent a copy of You've Reached Sam. And this cover is so beautiful. I, oh, I forget the name of this artist but I just love her art so much. Basically in this book we follow 17 year old Julie who uh, whose boyfriend Sam has passed away and she ends up finding this phone where she is able to like talk to Sam again um, and so that is the that's the story in here. Sounds like it's going to make me just bawl my eyes out and I cannot wait. And then the last book that I'm so excited to talk about, this is another one of my like most anticipated books of the entire year and that is Gear Breakers and this is by Zoe Hannah Mikuta. So this is a sci-fi novel that features like mecha like fighting machines which 
I have never read a novel that features that so I'm very excited and then also from what I understand has a lot of like found family dynamics which I love in books so yeah very excited for this one I loved Why Am I Blinking on that film by Guillermo del Toro I'm honestly just like very excited to see how the like sci-fi elements are like woven throughout this story and like how they're depicted that just sounds really fun so yeah all of these books just sound like such a good time so excited for them all but yeah those are the books that I have recently acquired. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What did you think? If you read any of these books, I'd love to know, but please no spoilers or let me know what books have you recently acquired that you're really excited to get to. Let me know in the comments down below. And once again, thank you to Disney Book Group for sponsoring this video. I will have info for all three of these books in my description box down below. They are all out now. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!